Okay, my name's uh, Wilfred Watonomy Jr. and um, I'm uh, from the Wallapai tribe. We're located out in uh, northwestern Arizona, a small community called Peach Springs, population about, uh, I would say not more than 2,500 people. Our um, territory encompasses about one million acres. In our ancestors' day, it uh, encompassed about seven, seven million acres. Right now we're at a location called Grand Canyon West. Grand Canyon West is located about 120 miles east of Las Vegas and uh, we have a, a tourism uh, enterprise out here. And we have the Skywalk, which is located at Eagle Point. The Skywalk is located at Eagle Point within Grand Canyon West and open for four years. Skywalk is located 4,000 feet above the bottom of the canyon and it extends 70 feet out over the edge. It's a bridge with a glass bottom so you can see straight down into the canyon. You know, it's got glass walls so you can see out uh, with no obstruction to your view. On uh, any given day, we get uh, visitors from all parts of the world, different languages every day, different people. They want to see the natural or experience the natural beauty of uh, the Canyonlands. And it's uh, in our way, you know, we're, we're honored to, to provide this to them. This is just the natural beauty of, of our homeland, the Canyonlands. And a lot of the, the various tribes throughout the United States, they're into gaming. And you know we uh, we have just this natural beauty that you see here. Between gaming and the natural beauty, you don't know how long gaming is going to last. But what we have here is going to last forever. Behind me, we have the Indian village, and in you know you can walk through, and we have teepees behind us with a little um, storyboard that talks about the teepee, where it comes from, which tribe uses it. We also have the Navajo Hogans and the Wallapai Wikiups as well, because a lot of tourists, especially international tourists, have read about Native Americans, but they think that they only live in teepees. So we try to give them an accurate representation of some of the natives from this area. Also, we have Guano Point, another um, opportunity to, to see the canyon and to experience it. But also we have uh, the ranch, which has um, the Western experience, where you can ride horseback, you can do wagon rides, you can play you know, different games or experience part of the, the Wild West. My father used to be the chairman for the Wallapai tribe for 12 years. He used to talk about what was going to happen there at the canyon, which is Grand Canyon West now. He said that one day this place is going to be something. We don't know what, but it's going to be something someday in the future. We're not going to be here to see it. We're going to be gone, but our children, our, our future children, they're the ones that are gonna see it. It's something that I never, never thought would happen, but it always reminds me of uh, the old, old people, you know, the ones that saw that coming way back, you know. Um, my name is Erlene Havitone and I am the general manager for the Wallapai River Runners. I've been with Wallapai River Runners for 11 years now. Wallapai River Runners begins at the Wallapai Lodge, which is located right on Historic Route 66, which is between Kingman and Sligman, and it's on the main road. We call it the Mother Highway of, of Route 66. So that's where Wallapai River Runners, the one-day whitewater rafting trip, begins and you meet there and then you're transported to Diamond Creek, which is about 22 miles of a primitive road conditions. And it's the only road that leads into the Grand Canyon itself. Wallapai River Runners gets on the river at Diamond Creek, right in Pitch Springs, and then you're transported down 43 miles of river. And then you take out at Quartermaster, which is at the lower end of the Grand Canyon itself. Um, once you get there, you fly up to Grand Canyon West, which is where the main terminal, the Glass Skywalk, is located. Um, most of our customers have an opportunity to do the Skywalk if they would like. Uh, since they're there, we do offer them a discounted rate. And um, once they arrive, 
and they do the skywalk or they choose to come back to Peach Wings, we transport them back. And it's about a two hour drive. It's a great family trip. Our business has developed and grown because by word of mouth. I mean, people enjoy it so much. We have parents who, when they were young, did the trip. I had a gentleman who come, came in and said, you know what, I was 13 years old, my father brought me here, and I didn't even want to come because I didn't want to be around my dad. And he, he said, he was smiling from ear to ear, and he said, my son just turned 13. And it was one of the best trips that I had with my dad, and I want my son to experience the same adventure I did. And I want us to have, um, to share that experience, that something special between a father and a son. People have all these reasons, and, and it makes me feel good because they're coming here. I'm very thankful for the people that have to work out there and put up with all the whatever they go through at the canyon, you know, all these people that have to get up real early in the morning and go out there, travel out there, and come back real late at night. And these people are working hard, and I really appreciate all of them. And it's not just helping one person or one family or one individual, it's helping the community. You can see it that it's really done a lot for the community. We, the Wallapai people, would like all people of all nations to come here and enjoy what we have. You're all welcome come here and enjoy what we have and we want to share with the rest of the world. So we're here waiting for you. We welcome all of our visitors. We welcome them 100% with our arms open and we want you to come and visit us. You know, learn about who we are as Indian people, as Native American and as Wallapai people. Our doors are always open and you'll always find a friendly face.